Hey, what's going on, Guardians? Caleb here with Roco Gaming. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is how to do the gap. Now, this is considered considered one of the harder parts of the raid. Um, the dogs is pretty easy, although it can be very frustrating. It's easy. There's not a whole lot of mechanics going on. You're not trying to do a th thousand things at once. Once again, with the bath bathhouse, it's pretty simple. Just rotate. But the gauntlet is always the one that I've been hearing personally is the hardest. So I wanted to make this video showing a different method and a different tactic of tackling the gauntlet that might be a little bit easier for your fire team. Because whatever my raid team, my fire team, whatever you want to call it, was doing it, we were having a lot of trouble with the original way that we've been seeing on YouTube, where everybody's standing on one platform and you're shooting on your platform and the other people's you know, arrows and you're trying to keep up with, do I shoot top, do I shoot bottom, where's this guy at, who am I listening for? <sighs> and that's what we felt like every time we finished a try. Because it never worked, and it was just so confusing, and it was so hard, and you're trying to listen for this person, listen for that person, and go melee your guy and do all this, and you're just doing too much. But what we figured out is, with a, another member of our fire team, I will give him that, he decided that maybe it'd be easier if we ran with our runner. So, for instance, you pick two teams of three, me, a meleeer, and a runner. So, well, a platformer, a meleeer, and a runner. The platformer stands on the platform, the runner runs, and the meleeer melees the scions. They're going to spawn up front after you get the green arrows. And he also shoots the scions if you get red arrows, which you want to avoid. Now, here's the thing. Doing this method, actually, we saw, we I think me and the team I was with had a pretty much a perfect run. I could be wrong. I recorded this a couple days ago, but we could be wrong. Um, but I think we had perfect runs the entire way through. So, or, well, except for once. doesn't matter. So... Anyway, here's the here's the gist of it. So your platformer, he's gonna run from platform to platform, keeping up with the runner or keeping ahead of the runner. Ideally, um, you don't want the runner having to wait at all. The meleeer is gonna run around. He's gonna be a little bit behind, but he's gonna run around just in time to melee all the scions so you don't get wiped. That's very important. The runner, obviously, he's gonna do the same thing as you always see in every video. He's gonna run. He's gonna be looking up. He's gonna see which one he's on. He's say, okay, I'm on the sun. So I'll say sun, middle, because that's the one that they do not need to shoot. So sun, middle, I shoot bottom, I say orange shoot top, He's gonna, because I'm the confirmer. So what you're going to want to do, for simplicity's sake and a lack of confusion, is the platformer and the runner are going to want to mute the other team of three. Just mute, them. mute all three of them. You don't need to hear what they're saying. It doesn't matter. Now the meleeers, they're going to mute the runner and the platformer on the other team but they're going to keep in touch with the other meleeer just in case there needs to be communication between the two or you know somebody dies and they need to be go re be revived my headset's trying to turn off on me <laughs> but so that's how you're going to do that now here's the key whenever the runner is coming through and he's looking up and he says oh sun middle i the platformer i'm going to repeat sun middle Orange shoot top, or Mike shoot top, or Dave shoot top, or Sarah shoot top. Whoever is on your team, you're going to say their name, and you're going to tell them shoot top. Okay? This is actually a very, very simple way of doing it. And once you get the hang of it, you're going to see how simple this really is. It is probably the easiest way we've done it so far. Like I said, we've tried every other method to no help. I mean, it was just more and more of the same crap. But once we tried doing it like this, it worked out splendidly we did it on the second try I want to say after about 30 tries of doing it the wrong way so we were very excited and we were all very thrilled to have finally beaten the gauntlet using a method that seemed ridiculously easy to be 100% honest as you can see right there we beat it so I'm gonna play the clip in a second of just letting you get a feel of how we ran it and how I talked my way through it now you're not gonna hear the runner but you don't need to the runner is not important um, and you're not going to hear anybody else on my fire team because they don't share their voices, but that's not a big deal. But yeah, not going to hear the runner because the runner is the same thing. He's just going to say dog middle, dog top, dog bottom, whatever. And you're just going to make sure whichever one he says, you don't shoot it. So he'll say dog middle. You'll hear me. I'll say dog middle, orange shoot top, or whoever your teammate is. And that's going to be the way you're going to do it. But remember, stick with your runner, meleeer. Make sure that you are meleeing the scion every time. Platformer, make sure you're getting from one platform to the other in time. You get the green arrow as platformer, take off. Don't worry about the scions, don't worry about nothing. If it is the last and final thing, fine, whatever. But 
for simplicity's sake and to keep from confusion, just don't worry about the scions at all. Just keep going, keep running, keep playing. Eventually, the runner's going to come out and you're going to know to stop then. But yeah, guys, so let me play this clip for you and see if you can and, and see if you can pull this off. And if it does help you, go down in the comments. Let me know that it helped you. I would be so happy to help, know that I helped other people try to do this raid because it is very complicated and it took us about four days to pull it off. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the second part of this clip. Here it is. Dog middle. Orange juice over here are rocking it. That's what we're doing. One of us. One of us. Oh. That's probably the most stressful point you could possibly have. I just stop. Do this, boys. Alright, I got top right. Holy fucking shit. Alright, so where's this chest at? Oh, yeah. oh dear god. Alright there guys, so as you just saw, we did end up actually beating 
the gauntlet challenge with this method it is very easy it is very nice it is very simple very non-confusing very non-confusing i don't know uh, it was very difficult <laughs> and honestly i'm really tired because we just finished the raid but i do hope this enjoy helped you guys i do hope you enjoyed this clip and i do want to know if it did help you so let me know down in the comments because i'm genuinely curious does things like this help you i would love to make tips and trick videos on the raid so if you need them if you want them if you loved them let me know Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. And bye for now.